Alrighty. We should be live now. Let's check it out. See how it goes. Alrighty, there we go. Alright guys, let me know uh, in the uh, chat here if you have any issues seeing this or if it's like laggy or it buffers a lot. Because I'm just trying to work out some kinks here. Uh, so just let me know. Alright, but everything looks good. Alright guys, so today for uh, for a start, what we're going to be doing is we're going to buy some more equipment. We're going to extend field 20, which is... Let me see. It's right here. We're going to extend that field from there all the way to... Not this, like gravel, but pretty close around here. Uh, let me see. What else? Oh yeah, we're going to start a cow farm. We're going to buy a new truck that the squad sent me. It's the Cummins that I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen. Uh, it's a really private mod, so I won't be able to share it with anybody yet. And then we're going to place down more sheds to store things under. Oh, hey, what's up, everybody? It's kind of blurry. All right, hopefully it evens out. It looks decent, though. Yeah, all right. So uh, right now, what I'm doing is I just finished plowing that field. or not plowing, cultivating that field and this field. And let's see what else we need to do to them. And then, how does the music sound in the background? Can you guys hear the music? Or is it, like, overwhelmingly loud? Because if it's, like, blowing everybody's eardrums, then I'm just going to shut it off. Let's see. So we need lime, but we don't need plowing yet. Because I have plowing shut off on this uh, map. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go through and we're going to buy new equipment. So we have a lot of equipment to buy. Um, we're going to start out, because since we're planting cotton next, we're going to start out with these two lemkins. Uh, it's... This planter, let me show you. It's a six foot wide planter. Um, we'll put on an extra attachment for this. Uh, it increases the capacity because the capacity is only 600, but with this, it adds another 1500 and it's like half the price. The booster says he can barely hear the music. All right, let me turn the music up. All right, there you go. I'll turn it up just a wee bit. I don't want it to be too loud to the point where I can't hear because it's way louder for me than it is for you guys. All right, 26,000, we'll buy. Lemkin, we'll buy. All right, so we got those two. Let me move this out of the way. Oh, here, actually, let me. Let me add that as a, uh, let me add Spencer as a mod. There we go. And guys, uh, Towards the uh, end or center or somewhere, I'll be doing like two different times where I'll give shout outs for everybody who wants shout outs, so don't you worry about that. Let's see, now this car. You know what? I think we're just going to get rid of the lizard pickup because we're going to be buying new stuff in a second, anyways. So, pretty sure it's leased too, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So, let's just toss that back to the dealership. All right, um, let me see. I'm looking to see what I was going to do next. The truck. Yes, the truck. All right, so this is by MyModsFarmingSimulator.com. Uh, the squad got it, and he sent it to me. Uh, I can't share it yet. i sure Spencer has it and everything. Um, but when he can, everybody will know for sure. Oh, we're getting... Yeah, there we go. All right. All right, so this is the truck ringing. It's... Uh, ram 3500 it's a cummins dually it's got spikes on the tires i mean it is uh it is everything that you want i think it's i right now think it's the best truck mod that i've seen i know rambo 145 has done one that he hasn't released yet um and just due to the fact of that i think this one's way better because it's it's perfect um and if you need to you can get it i think you just have to pay something for a download fee all right, so let's see here. I'm trying to uh, trying to decide what what color scheme should we do, guys. What color scheme should we do? So the design color is the bottom half, which I'm thinking maybe black. And then what should we do the top half? Do you guys want like blues, grays? What are you thinking? Oh, that's not that's not that good. Uh, lime green. That's not terrible. Yeah, just let me know what you guys want to see. And I'll I'll toss it all on there to see what it looks like. Right, some people saying black, black, and blue. Alright, this is black on black. 
Let's do Onyx on black. All right, so this is Onyx on black. Black and white. Black and white was at the beginning. You did see that. Let's see what a good blue looks like. This is a uh, this is darker blue. Let me see. Let's do the Lemkin blue. Yellow. This isn't too bad. Let's see what red looks like. Let's get a Case IH red. This reminds me of Rams right here. This one does. Mm, let's change the color because I know the squads is red actually. Let's see what John Deere yellow looks like. Ooh, it looks like a banana. Pink and black. Red and garlic. <laughs> That's what pink looks like. It's not bad. So we said black and red and garlic. Midnight blue. Black and John Deere green. Where's John Deere green at? You know what? I like this. I like Cameron. I like it. I like the color. All right, we're going to do John Deere green and then we're going to do black. Let's see what John Deere yellow looks like really quick. Oh, that's too much. Yep, going back. Let's check what Onyx is. Yep, okay, this is what we're going to do right here. This is our final color. John Deere green with Onyx black trim. Alrighty, let's buy this. 95000 which is it's a big chunk of change. All right. Oh, there we go. And it's got a gooseneck on it and everything. A 6.7 liter diesel tuned. This is our truck. We got it really quick so we can take a quick take a quick peek at it in the daylight. So it's got like it's got like these spokes coming off of it. Or it looks like it attaches to the uh, axles. It's not too bad. I like it. Let me see. Let me see if the tailgate drops down. All right, it doesn't look like the tailgate drops down, but you know that's fine. All right, we're gonna drive this one back to. Uh... Ooh, she's nice and slow. Ooh, brakes are like. Oh my gosh! So watch these brakes, guys. Ready? So I'll get going, and then I'll just, I'll let go of the gas, and it breaks instantly. That's pretty good, actually. All right, we'll drive it back. We'll drop it off right here. It's really nice, though. It handles really, really well. It's kind of weird though how it stops on a dime when you let go off the brakes. All right, here guys, I'm gonna change something really quick about the stream. So let me just let me just edit it. I'm just gonna see what it's going at because I think I can make it look better for you guys. Um, yep, I can definitely make it look better. Let me try this one. All right, for those of you who can see it easier, I just uh, updated the, the uh, what do you call it, the bitrate. So now you can see. All right. Is he this guy done yet? Oh, I think he's on his last, last row. Oh, okay. He's got about two, three more. Okay, two more, three more to go. All right, so we're going to grab a lime sprayer, and we're going to pick up some lime. Um, and then we're going to buy, or actually, we're going to buy a lime sprayer, pick up some lime with a new tractor. So right now, all we have is small tractors, and I think we need a big, large tractor. Because um, I'm going to be plowing here in a minute. And you can't plow with, a, uh, with like, anything less than a large tractor. Hey, what's up, Brett? Turn up your mic. Do I sound good to you guys or am I quiet? Let me check see what the levels are. It looks pretty good to me. I guess just let me know what you guys are seeing. All right, so tires. I always like the Trellborgs. So I'll show you guys the other one. It's got the Michelins. So it's like Michelins are huge and it's like costs an extra, extra bit, which I don't think we need. Um, rear twins. I like the rear twins. 
Well, I speak louder. Okay, here, let me. Everybody else says I'm pretty good. I think you should be able to hear me good. Just turn up your guys' uh, your uh, headphones or turn up your speakers. Get the John Deere Combine. Yeah, the 560 or the 720 is what the combines are. Let me show you guys quick. Where I'm, I'm blind right now. Where is it at? There it is, the harvesters. So you got the the 560 and the 790. Uh, so those are the two. I have the 560 on my Ravenport series right now. Um, I might do the the 790. I don't know. I just I might have I might go with New Holland or Case though. I don't know. All right, let's go with what was I doing? Large tractor, John Deere. Dooley's in the rear. Engine setup. So the engine setups cost a ton. So if you go to a 73010R, it's an extra forty-one thousand dollars, and it only adds. Okay, it does add a lot of horsepower. Never mind. So 265, 269 to two. You know what? I said we go out, go all out. Let's splurge, everybody. Just buy it all. All righty. Then go to the. We already have a planter down. We need our lime sprayer. Where's our lime sprayer at? It'll be in fertilizing technology. Yep, so these two are the only ones that can spray lime right now. 14, this adds 3,200, so we'll just buy this one because this is what I did on the other series. And then you just buy an extension for it and it boosts it by like 5,000. So it's totally worth it. Um, you do want the spreading discs because it will spread it from, it adds an extra six pretty much. It's really, really helpful. Oh, and guys, I forgot to oh, I forgot to announce this. Um, I'm going to be releasing a uh, or not releasing. I'm going to be making a, uh, a my dedicated server open to the public here soon. I'm not really sure how I'm going to do it, but I just went through. Um, so I became like released like a week ago, and so G Portal like it's all ready to go and everything. I just have to go through and activate my server. I, I have activated it already. I just have to make it so it uh, so like there's like a name and stuff on it. I just haven't figured it out yet, but after. The stream i'm gonna go through and do that see if i can figure it out and then uh um be watching for like my like you know how you can put out like uh bulletins on like the community page on youtube i'm gonna be sending one out on your subscribe feed and it'll tell you everybody how and how to join and everything about passwords and everything and everybody can join and start their own farms on it um, i just have to figure it out first so once i figure that out then i'll let everybody know truck okay here we go so we're gonna start out with our John Deere and I think let me see if this can be pulled by anything what's the horsepower requirement there's not a horsepower requirement okay so now Michael grabs one of the small tractors and pull that but for now we'll start out with a big one See, there we go. So then we gotta find a spot to fill up lime. Uh, saving. Oh yeah, auto save on. All right, so we got a lime shop. Where is it at? I okay, guess so we got lime station in the bottom right or top left. Looks like bottom right's closer to us, so we're gonna go to that one. Let's see. So I think we're gonna go left out here. And then I do have uh, what is it? Let's go left. Yep, left. I do have all the stuff, all the traffic shut off, so I can't run into anybody. But you know, I should probably turn it back on, actually. Let's go turn it on. Traffic, traffic, traffic. Oh, there we go. Uh, Richard, you know what I'm going to do today? We're buying equipment, extending field 20, starting a cow farm. We bought the trucks. So we can check that one off our list. And then we're going to add more uh, spots to store our machinery because we're going to be picking up quite a few pieces uh this video and i also need to watch my money money spending because we're gonna go over and we need to buy uh the cow pasture i don't want to uh oh geez what am i doing i don't want to run out of money 
Oh boy. Good thing I got these dualies. Oh no. All right. Yep, I'm knocking over every sign. Every sign I can. There we go. All right, so here's our lime station right here on the right. Uh, I think that's the fill up bin right there. Pretty sure it is. All right, pull up next to it. You got to drop the top. Uh, there we go. Start filling these. Oh, here, hold on. There you go, Brett. I showed that. Yeah, if you guys try and send links in the chat, it will uh, block it. Then I'll have to approve it. All right, we're going to take a lot of uh, lime because... Yeah, yeah, we'll just take a lot of lime. I'm not going to fill it, but I know it can do both of our fields easily with 6,000. G-Man, can we get a yee-yee? Uh, how about a good old, good old yee-yee? All right, let's go. Let's whip it around. We just got to go all the way around. All right, now that we got all of our lime, we'll run back to our fields and we'll spray the lime on the fields. Uh, lime, as everybody's told me before, it's like a pH neutralizer or it brings the pH up in the uh, in the soil. It just helps with uh, helps with everything out pretty much. Helps helps your crops grow. It evens the fertilizer. Oh, I'm trying not to bump that dude. All right, we're gonna go all the way back in first person. Listen, I love... Okay, so in first person, if you... Oh, I gotta make it through this little... This spot first. This spot's the one that caught me up on the way in. Does this say no reading on the left-hand side? Like that little, that little bar there? It says something. Yeah, it shows like a, like a book open and like a warning. <laughs> I don't know. No little person. No like other people sitting in... I don't know. I don't know what all those are for. All right, we're gonna slow it down. I think it's right. Oh, jeez. All right. Jason, do I do cotton? I am doing cotton this episode, actually. Uh, that's like the whole point of what we're doing right now. We are prepping our fields for cotton. I got the I got the cotton lemkin planter. Um, I'm not gonna buy the harvester yet, just because. I don't have the money for it yet, but towards the end of it, we will. You want me to do a prank on the squad? We don't have any servers that are in together right now, though, so I can't. All right, we're going to get this guy going and spraying some... Uh... Actually, here, let me drop it. I need to get a small tractor on that guy instead. Because there's no uh, horsepower requirement for it. I should probably use a bigger tractor, but it's fine right now. We'll do the fence. The f I think this is the fence that's all souped up with extra en with a bigger engine in it, so we'll use this one. So we'll find out if we can pull this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got no problem at all. All right, we're going to get a worker on this. Maybe. I don't know if we'll get a worker on it now. Yep, we're good. Perfect. All right, so it sprays out that lime powder, and then we will, uh, when we plant, it, it like pushes it down. Water will push it down. Uh, there's a lot of things for it. Alrighty, now we're going to go pick up our Lemkin planter, and we're going to go fill it up with some seed, and then we should be good. And then we can get planting on some cotton. We won't be able to see the cotton grow in this video, um, but it'll be done in a few days, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, this basically takes up the entire road. Should throw these hazards on 
I guess I don't need the, the hazards on, but look out, people. Uh, we'll strap it on right here. I'm not sure how the uh, extra tank goes on, but I think it goes on to the very back. We'll find out if we don't know, so. All right, I'll try this. Either you attach to the tank first and then this, or you attach this way. We'll find out though. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> Ooh. Uh, Yep, I think it's tank first, boys. Uh, let's drop this one. Oh, Garrett plays. Hey, what's up? All right. What the heck? How do we attach to this one? I'm doing something very, very wrong, I feel. Hmm. Let me check it out really quick. If you guys know, what am I doing? Attaches to the front? No way. Thank you, America. Let's see. Oh, it does. Oh, how does it? I mean, I guess I understand it attaches to the front. Would it, uh... Would it just like, would there be hoses that just transfer the seed to the back or? That's what I'm wondering. That's what I'm confused about at least. All right, let's get some pallets of seed in here. Nope, big bags. All right, let's buy, let's buy like a couple. I'm just gonna slap the enter key. Whew, there we go. Uh, do we have to open this one? Yes. Go to the rear one, open this one, refill it. Wow, that one fills up really quick, it doesn't it? Okay, so then how do you fill up this front one? Yeah, Brett, we should. On my new, uh, on my dedicated server, I'm sure we will. What am I messing up here, boys? Where was it? Planters, cedars, planters. So it takes, it takes seed, right? Probably the wrong bag of seed though, isn't it? Yeah, it takes, oh, it's fertilizer, what? So it does fertilizer. I am very confused. You like the truck color? Good, I like the truck color too. Is the stream buffering for you guys? I hope it's not. Let's see here. Refill additional tank. Oh, no, it doesn't even hold that much. So I don't even need to buy all those. Fill it up the last bit we can. All right, there we go. Oh, look at that. It, like, folds right in the front and everything. There we go. All right, so it is a fertilizer in the front. I guess I didn't realize that when I purchased it. Because it says an additional tank to increase the capacity of your tools. But it wasn't a seed one. It was a fertilizer one. Saltair 23. Maybe that's what helps it out. Let me check out. Saltair 23. Hmm. Oh, my dog's barking. Ben, come here. 
Sorry, guys. My dog's just barking at something. I don't think it was. Let me check really quick. Yep, nope, I'm good. Alright, so I'm not sure. Alright, it's fine. Alright, we'll turn on our hazards. Alright, we're gonna whip it around over here. Alright, so I think we'll just have to uh, make sure we select the right seed. I think we'll just have to make sure our workers are on this so they're automatically refilling it. Otherwise, we'll have to take a ton of time to go back and forth. There's a cement truck ahead of us. Uh, how long is the stream going to be? Uh, it'll probably be around an hour or uh, however long it takes me to really get stuff done. All right, you're right. Cameron, let's do some shout outs. All right, we'll wait for we'll wait if people start rolling and we'll do a shout out here in a minute. All right, let's get this one planting before we have to do anything else. Make sure we get to the edge. I should have probably uh, plowed before I started planting, but anyways. I wonder if it's working or not. So it said fertilizer, but it looks like it's... Yeah. All right. All right, so shout out to Cameron, Josh Laflame, Brett, or not Brett, <laughs> Brett, yeah. Brad, Lucas, Dustin, Brad again, Brad again. <laughs> And then anybody else who throws it in there in a minute. All right, now that we got him down, ooh, that was that was really fast actually. Where is our other guy at? Oh, he's already done, and he's blocking traffic. Look at that, my man. Shout out to Ricardo, Connor McCormick, Matthew Glitch, Camarina Brett, Barrett, Brown Brett, Camarina. Bear it. Uh, Dan guy, are you connecting fields? I was thinking about connecting fields, but I would kind of want to keep them apart. Just in case I would need to... Uh... Oh, man. Okay, this traffic literally just pinned me in. There we go. Alright. Now we'll let the traffic turn back on. I, should I line this part really quick? I think I should line this part really quick. Just because it didn't get hit when he did it earlier. All right, there we go. Oh, shout out to TSM, Myth, Corey West, Camden, and Ricardo again. All right. Let's back this into the shed here. Oh, and I'm also going to be picking up a bigger shed. Uh, towards the end here, we're gonna be expanding some of our stuff out, especially since we're off wolf we'll cows now. Okay, that was a bad idea. All right, we're just gonna set it right here off to the side. All right, there we go. Oh, so now that we got that done, we should extend field 20 or do cow farm first. Well, let's check the land that we own first. So we own, let's go to plots. So we own 19 through 20. Okay, well, that makes me want to turn this front area here into the cow pasture. We'll, we'll check it out really quick. We'll see where it goes best at. Um, start with the small one, see how big it is. Okay, this small one is even huge. All right, what about down here? We want to do as little uh, land flattening as we can to. Well, let me turn this on. That'll make it so we can actually see how much it costs. How much is cow pasture? 100,000 right now. 152. All right, guys. So I think we'll have to clear out field 20 a little bit so we won't extend it actually. Here, let me... Let me stop our guy really quick. 
Alright, I'm gonna halt him for just a minute. Alright, let's try this. Yeah, okay. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to decide if I really want to or not. Okay, so we'll do that. Um, I'm gonna have to go sell some stuff really quick. So we're only at 122,000 or 24,000, and it'll cost us about uh, 150, I think is what it is. So we will make use of our new Cummins, and we'll fill up and pick up some. Uh, if I can, if I can manage to get around here. Come on. Oh, is it not able to hitch up to right here? Oh, it's not. Maybe only the gooseneck works on it. All right. Looks like we're not using the Cummins for this. Which sucks a little bit. Oh. There we go. All right, we'll set that off to the side. We'll use our Fent with the uh, weight on the end because that's what we were using before anyways. How long will the stream be? The stream will be probably another half an hour. Pretty much do we get all the things that we want to have finished done. All right, let me drop all these so I can actually fill up. All right, so let's see what we have in our silo so far, if I could back up correctly. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta loop it around. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the cow pasture right here where we're driving right now, right behind field 20. I think that's what they were meant to do with this uh, with this area when they like made this map um, for like the starting area. All right, so let's sell some wheat. We have 35,000 wheat, so let's actually do something with it. All right, let's back this guy up. We'll get it going on field 19 while we are running around, because field 19 is probably two to three times the size of field 20. The truck is good. Yeah, the truck is pretty good, but I don't know if it will attach up to that. It didn't for a second there. Like, I had nothing uh, popping up, so let's hope. I should probably check and see if this field needs to be weeded also. Let's see. Nope, doesn't need to be weeded. And that's already fertilized. So this does fertilize and plants at the same time, which will be really nice. All right, so we got cotton going. We'll get it down on this spot at least. I could always extend this area to the left a little bit more and back um, towards that shed, which I might do. All right, let's get back to our other, there we go. Take the remaining wheat. So this is the wheat that we, uh, that we just got done harvesting in the last videos. There we go. All right, we're going to run down. Let's see, where does wheat accepted the highest at? 1,300 at Port Southeast. So we're going to go to Port Southeast to sell all of our grain. It does not work, the squad said. Oh, that sucks. That is a, that's a shame. Oh, we'll throw on our blinker here. Go to first person. All right, so we're going, driving down to Port Southeast. Um, so yeah, guys, there'll be another video releasing later today around probably around 10 or 9 uh, my time, which is central time. So that might be like, uh, if I do it at 10, it'll be like 9, what is it, 9 Pacific, 11 or 12 Eastern. So you guys can be on the lookout for that. Oh, Nelly. All right, nobody saw anything. How do I like the color of the truck? I love the color of the truck. We went through and we, we did it ourselves. That was a, that was a good, good call there, Cameron. The John Deere with the black, I think it looks really good. Or the Onyx is what they called it. What do I think of FS19? I really, really like it so far. Um, if you just take FS19 and you put it up to FS17, there's a very clear difference in like graphics, if you guys have noticed. The graphics are way better in this game than they are in the other ones. Granted, I'm playing on full settings, um, full full graphic settings, so that might contribute a little bit, but uh, yeah, that's the reason why I really like it. Graphics are just way better. Um, it's way easier, if you guys don't know yet, mods. Um, mods can be searched now 
once once modders really finally catch on to the game which hopefully it happens soon because there's not really many that are doing anything for it yet but uh once they catch on mods can be searched in the mod menu to select them and like deselect them for like starting maps up which is incredibly nice especially for people like me uh the squad like that was our biggest complaint with the uh, old maps or the old game is the fact that you couldn't change the mods that you wanted easily you'd have to go through and select like a list of i think our mod folders were like 40 gigabytes and that was hundreds of mods like close to 400 mods i'm pretty sure if you guys ever saw the squad show his mod folder it was ridiculous he had double the amount i did um just because i just couldn't stand going through them sometimes all right 12,000 24,000 in total then you love the the green on the truck and the tractor so do i green's a great color does fdr have instagram uh i'm not sure if fdr has instagram i'm pretty sure he, i know he has a a discord because I've talked to him on Discord a couple of times, and FDR is currently in the process of making maps for this game. So don't worry about that. He will for sure be making maps. And as you guys know, he made a lot for FS17, like probably 20 maps, something like that. It was an insane amount. And he was making, uh, what do you call it? Equipment too, like loggers and stuff. How many mods do I have? I think I have five in this game right now. I have the three that the that Giants made, which were the uh, Mahindras, or Mahandras, whatever you want to call them. The two of them, the Limited and the Regular. I have the John Deere Gator. And then I have the Cummins. And then I have like a HUD Hider one, which uh, takes away your HUD so you can take like a picture of your game and make it look way better. Oh, Cameron, thanks. Thanks so much. Yeah, glitch. I really like the uh, the truck also. If only the hitch worked, though. That's my biggest complaint right now. Granted, I just got the truck, so I can't complain too much. But to combat that with the hitch not working, all we have to do is just get a low loader or a uh, something with a gooseneck. Just attach it up, and there you go. Granted, you can't just pull stuff with hitches, but if you need to move something, low loader is your way to go. All right, we're probably gonna we'll see if we can lay the cow pasture down and if we can we'll plant it and then we won't have to worry about going and selling something else but we might have to go sell something else if only we could sell is straw sell on this on this map it does uh it's this one right here i'm pretty sure so at the barn for 107 probably 107 every hundred or thousand so oh drop my phone so not too bad all right, we'll see if we can place the cow pasture. Oh, I gotta turn this on. 137,000. Okay, so do we want, I think we want it like this because this is easier access for us to be placing. Uh oh, I messed it up. Uh, we need to rotate, there we go. So we wanna try and save as much money as we can. 115,000 to place it right here. And then it looks like we won't have to level out any of these fields. Okay, it's done. The deed has been done. All right, so that cost us 115,000. Oh, look at that. It's super even. So if you guys know about it, I guess I cut into here a little bit, but that doesn't really matter. Um, It's really weird when you place like placeables in this game. It levels out the land first, uh, which is, I mean, it's not bad, but... It does kind of mess things up sometimes. But anyways, we got our cow pasture here. I didn't even check to see how much cows this could hold. It can hold up to 50 cows. Yeah, up to 50 cows, which I think is plenty. Once we hit 50, I'm sure we can go through and buy another one. All right, we're going to pick up a dog, though. We're going to get a dog. We're going to get ourselves a brand new puppy. Um, where do you guys think I should place this at? Um, hmm. Let's get let's get our dog right here in the front yard. I'm sure there's a spot we can put him in the front yard. I thought I was letting me in a minute a minute ago. All right, we'll place him. 
I don't want to put him on like concrete because no dog wants to lay on concrete. Oh, crazy Russian driver. <laughs> um, trying to decide where we want to place this. I think we should go over by the house. Not by the road. You don't want your dog getting ran over. Okay. Let's see if we can find a spot in here. Nothing right here. Okay, we'll have to go on, on concrete since it's not letting us place it anywhere else. Left control Q and E. Yeah. It'll like drop it down into the ground or not, but you don't need to do that for this doghouse. Hmm. You know what? We'll go over here. Just need to shift my view. Back side of the house. Can't go anywhere over here. Wow, this is a pain in the butt to do on this map. We'll do right here. This will work perfectly fine. All right, doghouse right there. All right, now let's run over and check out a dog. I think I should call the dog Spike. Like Spike. Hmm. I might. That's, that might be a good name. Call it Spike and we can do a like Spike. Okay, guys, we're gonna do it. His name's gonna be his name's gonna be Spike. Oh, fed him. Oh, look at the doggy. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's make sure he gets fed. All right, come on, come come get your food. Is he gonna eat? There he goes. All right, so we now got ourselves a dog, and his name is Spike. Think we can feed him again? Oh wow! If you just keep feeding him, he'll just he'll keep eating all day long. All right, we'll wait for him to finish his food. You want the ball? Ready? Throw it over here. Go get it. Oh wow, he was not not entertained with that ball at all. Wait, maybe he's gonna go get. He's gonna go get it. All this stuff up here in German. All right, pick it up. Oh, you can rotate it with middle mouse button. Look at that. All right, ready? Huh. That did not work at all. Oh, it's going to roll right into him. Come here, Spike. Come on. Oh, hi there, buddy. Oh, look at him. Okay, there you go. We got a dog now. I haven't bought a dog yet in this game. Now we finally got one, though. All right, so now it's time for cows and cow stuff. Cow-related stuff. Hold on, let's go check out that field really quick. See how it leveled it. Because I'm not sure if it took away too much of our field or not. Anybody with an Xbox spam yeet? That's funny. <laughs> oh, it didn't do too bad over here. It kind of made it a little bit uneven, but it's not too bad. It's not like it is on my other map. My other map is kind of a train wreck with all that. Dogs don't go after the ball, really? That's weird. It's like the one thing that they want to do. What's up, Cody? Yeah, everybody, like Spike in the chat, all right? We'll see what we can hit. I don't, I don't know. I can't see likes right now, but like Spikes. All right. He is almost done with the cotton planting. Uh, while we wait for him to go, I'm going to grab our front loader, Fent. Which is this guy right here. And we're going to throw the front loader on it. And we're going to bring some uh, hay bales in. And then we might go uh, buy a low loader and pick up some uh, hay. Not hay bales. Straw bales. We'll go pick up some hay bales and grass bales. Um, mainly because we don't have any. We don't have anything like that. We don't have any grass. Which is not great. But hopefully we don't kill our cows. Alright. We'll set the weight right there. 
Make the dog follow you and then throw the ball? Oh, okay. I see. Well, pick this up. And we'll attach up with this one. All right, there we go. So this is our round bale uh, loader. Oh, wow, I forgot. We need something to spray it with. No. All right, so. Um, hmm. Animals. We need one of these bad boys right here, everybody. The L2. Oh, this is weights. Okay. We'll do this one then. We'll do the rear one. All right, there we go. Oh wait, was that a weight that you needed or was it a front loader that you needed? Oh, it's a front loader. Ah, I see now. All right, we'll drop our front loader fork. All right, now we're gonna run over to the, uh, to the shop and we're gonna actually pick up this uh, thing. So what it does is it shreds up the straw, I'm pretty sure. Hopefully it can do round bales of straw. Oh no, crap. I'm gonna be really mad if it can't do round bales of straw. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up this up. What it does is it shreds the straw and throws it all around like a animal pasture. I think ours, well, ours is gonna be cows. So it's gonna throw, throw it all around. It's not like FS17 where you just grab it and then you instantly just drop it in and it accepts it. You have to actually do some extra work. But you know, it's not too bad. Making it a little bit more realistic. It looks like it can take a round bale. I should probably get a rear weight on though. This thing looks really, 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 really heavy. Yeah, we'll throw a rear weight on when we get back. We can still hit max speed though. Let's go grab that wheel weight. Not wheel weight. Yeah. <laughs> Our uh, loader weight. All right, we'll pull it around to the right. Can we? Can we load? I wonder how you. I wonder how they have you do it. That's what I'm. I don't know how you do it. So this way or this way, up and down. So it's like a regular loader. It looks like it can take round bales, but round bales in this game seem to really not be used for anything other than creating silage, I guess. All right, now we got our Agco weight on. Let me go check this really quick. So it takes bales and then lower weight. Oh, weird. Oh, that guy's done over there. All right. Let's see. Let's make sure we're on the front one here. Left control I. Okay, so that's the unload. But the question is the straw blower or the tip side? Let's see. This is how it unloads. It'll just like spread it out. But we can't load up with this. So do you guys think you have to, you have to put it in there? The forks in the theater change settings to detach forks so you can load. It does take a round bale because the squad has one. So Marky B, you think I have to put the round bale in there? So just like, I think I see how it works. So just drop it what the heck hold on <gasps> oh oh dude I see it now that's so cool okay I was like what are you guys talking about you have to use the fork thing okay I see it now 
All right, here. Let me move the uh, harvester out of the way. Hail spike attached. You just disconnect it. Yep. All right. That's actually pretty cool. I like that. That's that's a really really easy way. Look at that. And we have a bail spike now. We didn't have a bail spike before, but now we got one on this. That was really confusing. <laughs> At least it didn't take me like an hour to figure it out. Like super confused. That would have been really embarrassing. All right. So we just grab it and throw it in there. Um, we'll grab this one right here. And we'll just set it on the top there. Then it should shred it and spit it out. We might have to do a few of these. So you just set it in there, then just pull it away. Just like that? Is that how you guys talking to me? Is that how you want me to do it? I think I think that's how you do it. I need to zoom in a little bit more so I can actually see see what I'm doing. Alright, so now we got it in. And now let's go over to the cow pasture, right? All right, guys, just yell at me in the chat if I'm doing something wrong, all right? Just just let me know, because I'd rather know it now. I'm trying to figure out where you load it from. Do you go inside and load it from there? Not there, I know that. Where do you guys load it from? Attach and shoot it in. So I just like, do I just sit right here and shoot it in? These doors don't open. Because I know on the other one, the doors open and you got in. All right, let's just shoot it in through here then. All right, let's see how this goes. Uh, tip side is going to be the blower. Other side from the outside. Was it back here? Is this where you do it? This is that's milk loading. Go to the side. Yeah, this is my first time doing cows, guys, so sorry if I'm a little. I feel like I'm not doing it right. I think I messed something up. Let me check it. Drive along the side and shoot it in. You are awesome. Okay. Well, I don't know. Oh, I think I messed something up. Tip side straw blower. Action cannot be performed here. Maybe I need cows first. Maybe I'm just being dumb and I need cows. Uh, ooh. No, we don't want Brahmins. We want cows. I'll pick up one cow right now. Just so we have one. Along the fence. This fence I'm at now. Is this what you guys talking about? Let me see here. I figure it will say unload when you're doing it correctly, right? Let's see. Change our side. Doesn't like it here. Oh, this side. Ah. I see it, guys. Sorry. Wow. That was bad. Okay, there we go. Now we're spraying some of it in. I can't believe I just unloaded it in those other areas. Let's see. How much straw? Oh, cows don't take much for straw at all, do they? All right. So what I'm going to do is, is until we like go through this entire bale, I think I'll just leave this piece of machinery right here. What did I just drop? Oh, I dropped the right one. All right. 
Oh, man. Alright, sorry about that. Sorry about me just completely failing on that. Alright, let's clean that mess up really quick. Do I have a bucket around here? Never mind. We can't clean it up. I don't have a bucket. I don't know why I don't have a bucket. Alright, so. We got all that done. Alright, let's see how much we can pick up some sheds for really quick. Uh, so easy shed for 9,000 for one. But. We gotta make sure it's not super expensive. Okay, so I can get one shed down here, or we can get a shed down here. All right, let's rotate our view. Okay, maybe not over there. I wish you could remove this one right here, because this one really has no good use. All it can really hold is our harvester, which I mean, yeah, harvester's suit important, but. Um, hmm. I guess we'll just go right here for now. Yeah, we'll just go right here. We might be able to get it for cheap, too. Turn on snap. Snap rotation. 23,000, 22,000. So... We kind of want to be able to add another one eventually. But for now, we'll just start out with this one. Make it easy. 19,000. So it gets cheaper the farther you go in. But we got to keep away from this area. Because see, like, this is all the area that they drive through. So 20,000 right here. Yeah, we'll throw it right there. It's fine. We'll we'll be in this area more often. So uh, we'll just take the, take the fence over there. Can you go in your garage and sell it? Yeah, yeah. If I needed to sell it, I could. So we got a few of these down. Or we got one of these down. All right, so it's not it's not too... It's not super tall or out of the ground or anything, which is really nice. So, that's super... That's super good, actually. that's I, I really like the look of it. Uh, what we might eventually do is we might go along this field, this corner that I'm, like, looking at. And we might just, like, plow it all out and get rid of it. And then uh, just extend a bunch of sheds along this side really, really far. It would help out pretty good. Uh, am I a cat or a dog person? I'm a dog person. 100% all the way. No doubt in my mind, a dog person. Just because, you know, I have I have dogs. So I love my dogs. All right. Make sure he's got cotton going now. And then this is fertilized now, so all we have to go through and is fertilize again. So like this field's half fertilized, so we just have to wait and start fertilizing it again. We'll just have to get a sprayer though. Oh jeez, let me just. There we go. That's pretty funny. <laughs> all right, let me just check something real quick. So, all we need left to do, all we were going to do, other than what we've done so far, was we were going to do the uh, Field 20 extension. But, since we put the cow pasture here instead, we don't need the Field 20 extension. Um, cows are good on everything except for water. Oh, is he going to be good driving up to this, or is he going to mess it up every time? Okay, he's gonna mess it up every time. We're gonna take the reins for a minute really quick guys All right, we'll plant this front beginning area just because he's gonna keep like running into it. So <laughs> Jeez workers are really helpful, but they can be really really finicky sometimes Am I fertilizing too? Oh, it didn't fertilize too, did it? Is it fertilizing? Oh, I'm hitting G. Let me see. 
Here, let me get this. Because this guy's rows look way different than mine do. Alright, so turn on the sower. We're going to drop her down. And then we're going to lower sower. There we go. Now we're fertilizing at the same time. So yeah, we just had to drop that one down. Oh yeah, because it runs, it has like lines that run from the very front all the way to the very back. Oh, like right below the, uh, the machine. Karm wants to know what my dog's name is. Well, I have a dog and his name is Finn. And then my parents also have uh, three more dogs, and it is Max, Sam, and Willie. All right, we'll drop this one down. Ah, so every single time you bring that up, it brings up the front two. That's weird. Is it? Okay, no, it is using fertilizer. Yeah, it's just, I guess it's just the way that you, uh, that you go through. I don't know, guys. It's weird. I'm figuring it out. Uh, we will pick this side up, pick this side up. And now that we extended it out a little bit, I'm sure we're going to. Uh, Jennifer Norris wants to know, when am I going to do, uh, farming simulator with fans? Um, I announced this earlier. I'll announce it again. I do have a dedicated server that is going up in a matter of days, probably a day. What's this guy blocked by? There we go. Yeah, I have a dedicated server that's going up in a couple of days. Um, so uh, be on the like lookout for that. I will post something about it. I'll post like uh, the the name of the server, passwords, a bunch of stuff about it. Um, I'm not sure how de like servers, like multiplayer servers work in FS19 since there's separate farms and everything. Everybody has their own farm. So we might have to cap it at like a certain number of like players uh, per week. So like only like 12 players can play it per week because I know I have 12 slots on it. So only like 12 certain people can play it per week um, or like everybody has to choose their own farm, uh, something like that. Um, but uh, I'll let you guys know. Uh, but anyways, guys, I think we're going to end it here. I got a little bit more work to do on the cows, and I'll do that uh, during next video, uh, which will probably be out tomorrow. But uh, in the meantime, I hope everybody enjoyed this. I haven't live streamed in a very long time, ever since the FS17 tournament. Um, so it's been a while, but I've been meaning to get back into it. Uh, but I'll start streaming more once more mods come out and we've got more stuff to do in the game. But if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button. Give me a good like spike. Subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed yet. And I'll see all you guys in my next live stream.